Hey, welcome back to the Bounce of the Balls NBA Playoffs Daily Recap. In today's games, we had two tightly fought contests and one absolute blowout. Let's get amongst it. Okay, so the first game of the day was the Heat and the Hawks game. So the Hawks actually stayed with the Heat early as they uh, were trying to salvage a game out of the road trip before they head ba headed back to Atlanta. And the Heat were struggling a bit with their shooting, so the lead swayed back and forth throughout all the first quarter. Hero subbed in late towards the back of the quarter, and it seemed to be really impactful, it triggered an 8-0 run. But a late flurry from the Hawks kept them in touch with the lead and only had them behind by one going into the break. So early in the second, Jimmy Butler was hitting threes, which is always an ominous sign. And Gabe Vincent was being very handy as well, hitting some threes in the corner. But Trey Young and the Hawks just kept in touch. They maintained the lead throughout the back end of the second quarter, mainly through Collins, Hunter and Trey Young. They're a small team, but with their energy and aggression, they play big. You know, even Trey, he doesn't mind you know, getting in the paint and drawing contact for a foul. Yeah, so it's interesting the way they play. They're a really, really fun team to watch. An interesting graphic um, popped up during the game uh, where it highlighted the Heat actually have nine players, I believe, that are undrafted in their roster. That really show, shows the strength of their culture and their system. Yeah, nine undrafted players in a first seed. That's got to be some sort of record. Anyhow, so I was a bit late towards the second. Jimmy Butler went into absolute beast mode. So he drew a couple of fouls, really started to assert himself in the game, and he um, put the heat up by two points at the break, 56 to 54. Yeah, by that point, Jimmy had already got 21 points. He'd hit two three-pointers, and he'd got seven to seven free throws as well. So he looked like he was going to have a bit of a night, and what a night he had. Jimmy Buckets just continued to dominate, and throughout the third, he put an extra 15 points. And they looked like they were going to kick on from there, but the Hawks just would not go away. And they came back in the fourth and they got the deficit down to about three points. But Jimmy Butler went absolutely nuclear at the end of the game. Yeah, and he ended up putting the heat up by 10, clear of the Hawks. And that took his total up to 45 as well. Heat get the win, 115 to 105. And Miami go up 2-0 in the series as they head to Atlanta for game three. Okay, and that takes us to the Grizzlies and the Timberwolves. After a really, really close start, the Timberwolves end up finding themselves up by one point at the end of the first quarter. But the Grizzlies rallied. Uh, defensively and shut the Timberwolves down in the second, only holding them to 17 points. And that helped the Grizzlies take an 11 point lead into the half. The Grizzlies continued to outclass the Timberwolves in the third quarter and poor shooting from Minnesota did not help as the Grizzlies found themselves 27 points up. And they pretty much maintained that lead all throughout the fourth. And the game finished a um, bit of an absolute blowout in the end. Shout out to Anthony Edwards. He was the highest scorer on the Timberwolves. He contributed fairly nicely. And Ja Morant fell one rebound short of getting a triple-double, finishing with 23, 9, and 10. And Jackson and Jackson Jr. and Bain both contributed nicely with 16 points each. So, series now tied 1-1 as we head to Minnesota. Okay, and that takes us to the Suns and the Pelicans. The Pelicans did really, really well uh, to stay with the Suns throughout the first quarter, mainly through the help of CJ McCollum and Brandon Ingram. But Devin Booker was on one in the first half, scoring 31 points. He shot 12 from 19 from the field and 7 and 11 from three. Mikhail Bridges was also chipping in. He had 10 points by that stage as well. And the Suns were up by five as they went into the half, 61 to 56. New Orleans continued to fight and they ended up being up by four shortly after the break. That was mainly because Crowder and CP3 were ice cold and I don't mean ice in their veins I mean couldn't hit a bucket if their life depended on it. CP3 was shooting at 27% and Crowder was shooting at a measly 10%. Unfortunately Booker's night ended early when he had a hamstring strain in the third quarter so he didn't get to contribute any more points to the total. And this is when Brandon Ingram really looked to stamp his control on the game and also Valanciunas was absolutely dominating on the boards. So with about five minutes left um, the Pellas had a bit of a buffer and then CJ McCollum and Brandon Ingram sunk some of the clutchest threes and they put them up by seven with about three minutes left. And we saw Chris Paul and Brandon Ingram trading shots until CP3 blinked and he missed on a three. And the Pels got a layup and a foul 
yeah, to push the lead out to an unassailable point. So the 36 and 46 Pelicans come along and upset the number one seed Phoenix Suns, who end up finishing with the best record in the league. Yeah, and the Pels finished out the game with a 28 to 12 run. Brandon Ingram finished with 37, 11 and 9, missing out on his triple double by one assist. McCollum had 23, and Valanciunas finished with a 10 and 13 double double. Paul finished with a 17 and 14 double double, ended up going 5 for 16 from the field, and finished with 31% efficiency. Another little interesting caveat today's game. Uh, Scott Foster was officiating, and if you know anything about him and CP3's record together, uh, this was CP3's 14th straight playoff loss when Scott Foster was officiating. That's right, 14th straight. He's either cursed or the man hates him. <laughs> either way. Oh, yeah, that's nuts. Okay, so tomorrow's game, see the Nets back in Boston. The Raptors try to get one back on the 76ers in their game three. And the Bucks host the Bulls for their game two round one matchup. Okay, and also keep an eye out for my 2K series as I try to get the Bulls chip. Best way you can do that is to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. And while you're there, remember to like all our videos. Okay, see you tomorrow.